Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Tuesday, the uh, 18th of October. It's about 20 past three. And uh, as you can see, uh, we've got a bit of green on the front page of VectorVest USA, uh, first green for a very long time. So it looks as if the relief rally that we've all been uh, hoping for has started. It's certainly look, looking very optimistic. Uh, market up after an inside day yesterday. Uh, uh, markets up uh, 66 uh, uh, S&P points uh, at uh, what 50 minutes into the trading day. Uh, the uh, market action upwards looks impulsive to me, uh, and. Uh, uh, that, I think, stands as some good stead for a relief rally that can run at least three or four weeks. That's certainly how I'm going to play it until it proves itself to the contrary. Let's have a look at uh, some figures. As you can see, the buy-sell ratio has come off the lows uh, from 0 0.07, uh, what, a week ago, up to 0 0.17 still. A uh, long way to go, and the MTI has moved up as well. And the short term measure of the trend uh, is up, uh, underlying uh, trend still down, and the longest term measure of the trend is going to take a bit of shifting. That's a confirmed down. And uh, we've got a green light. Well, we're 50 minutes into the day, that can change by nine o'clock tonight. Uh, but we've got a green light so far. Let's have a look at the vector vest. Uh, uh, composite, uh, that's the vector vest composite, folks, over the last six months. Uh, and if I put on the longest term measure of the trend called confirm calls, uh, we can see that uh, we had a bit of a rally in uh, July, August, but uh, all year uh, the uh, major legs have been down and a couple of little legs up. Uh, and uh, uh, as I said, this has still got a little bit of work to do uh, before uh, we get a confirmed up, quite a bit of work to do, in fact. Last uh, Thursday's emphatic outside day uh, was useful, and then we had a pullback. And uh, guys, the uh, low of uh, the pullback that I think we had on Friday, that was exactly 62% of the upswing. So uh, in Elliott terms, that was a wave one up. This is a wave two. And we're now starting to see a wave three up, which is an impulsive move in my position. Also got a little bit of an island. We had a gap down, a gap up, uh, a lot of days in between. So maybe uh, technically uh, it should be discarded. Nevertheless, that's a quite a positive uh, pattern for me. Uh, so where's it going to go to now? Well, uh, let's have a look at the rest of the market timing systems first. The DEW, which is a medium term market timing system, is still down. Although it's got, uh, these are, uh, this is how it's actually measured, the, uh, this moving average, a weighted moving average. And the markets, in fact, closed above that moving average today. But the uh, momentum indicator, which is also a part of the study, the DPO, detrended price oscillator, needs to get up through zero. It's going to take another day or two for that to happen. But very, very close. If this momentum is maintained, we're very, very close to a DEW up signal where I shall be looking uh, for some positions. And I'll do my best to report them here. Uh, and uh, uh, if we now have a look uh, over the last three months, have a look at the shortest term measure of the trend. Uh, that's the primary wave. And that turned up yesterday. OK, the primary wave, in fact, turned up yesterday at the close in that inside day. And I, I was rather disappointed this morning because uh, I was actually uh, out of bed early uh, to try and buy the breakout of the outside day long or uh, the uh, break of Friday's high. And I felt if it got through those two levels, uh, the market would move up significantly. But I was too late. I, I was out of bed at about half past six UK time, uh, but that was already too late. The overnight market had already moved at three o'clock in the morning or something. So I haven't got a position now at all as yet. It was a long a long way of the day to go. Uh, so uh, if we now do look at the S&P itself, that's the S&P itself. Uh, and uh, uh, the uh, S&P uh, also showing this uh, uh, gap down, gap up, uh, big move up market 
opened on Thursday after the CPI number, pulled everybody short and then rammed the other way. There must have been a lot of blood in the streets in there. Uh, and then it pulled back to 62% of that. It's now pushing up. So where do I think this is going to go to? Well, uh, if we put on a fib between here and that low, uh, and I think that a, a reaction or a relief rally should at least get to 4,000 on the S&P. Uh, and it could easily get up here to 4,150 or something. Uh, that's 78% retracement. And these relief rallies tend to happen uh, fairly quick and fairly hard as positions are unwound here. There's an awful lot of people uh, found themselves uh, in a, a short strangle. But... Uh, uh, Market coming back a little bit now. We're not out of the woods here yet, but I think it's looking quite good for a, a relief rally. Okay, I, I'm going to do nothing until that DEW signal prints, and that DEW signal uh, could take a couple of days as yet. So I'll give it the benefit of the doubt until we get a DEW signal. Uh, there's the DEW, as you can see, no signal as yet. Signals are clear. Signals are, are objective. There's no head scratching uh, to try and work out whether you should be buying stocks or not. Uh, if, when you decide on your market timing system, and for me, I use the medium term one, this DEW, uh, it's uh, cut and dry. No scratching or whatever part of your anatomy you have to scratch to make a decision. Uh, in the short term trading, a bit disappointed that got away on me this morning because there's a hundred points on the upside there. Um, uh, what can you do? Uh, so, folks, uh, the UK is following. I haven't done anything. I haven't added any positions in the UK. UK uh, has got a little bit more work to do uh, than the American market for the DEW to turn up. And again, I should be adding to positions uh, in the UK when that happens. Uh, I did a video this morning uh, for UK customers, and that'll be on the uh, UK uh, YouTube page, uh, VectorVest YouTube page, uh, probably this afternoon, where I look at four stocks that I think should move. Uh, I hope you find that useful, folks. Uh, steady as she goes, but looking very positive for a relief rally that can last well into November. Thanks very much.